scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Just bless him in other tongues everywhere around this auditorium. Just begin to bless him in the spirit. We give you all the praise. Mighty God, we honor you. Thank you for your body. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your sacrifice. Lord, we give you all the praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just lift your hands and thank him in one minute. For the power of his blood, his death. Lord, I give you all the praise. Ezekiel 18, let's just pick up your Bibles, Ezekiel 18, Ezekiel 18, Ezekiel 18 verse 20, just the A part. Ezekiel 18 verse 20. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 18 verse 20. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. Let's take it one more time. The soul that sinneth. It shall die. One more time. Hebrews 9, verse 22. And then we'll just sit down. Hebrews 9. Hebrews 9. Shit, I back out of a lot of bush. Let's start from 20. 20 to 22. Saying, This is the blood of the testament which God had enjoined unto you. Moreover, he sprinkled with blood both the tabernacle and the vessels of the ministry. 22. Can we read together? And almost all things are the law purged with blood. And without shedding of blood, there is no remission. Help us tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. We thank you for your death. We give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Please greet one another and sit down. God bless you. It's good to see you. Hug one another. Say hello.
Please, everybody stand. Some of you have very bad manners. We said, say hello. You are just turning. Stand up and do it again. Want to go. Hug generously. Greet generously. The person refuses to respond. Say hi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tonight is Good Friday. May it be good unto us in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'll teach for a very short time because we have a lot to do tonight. Is a communion service by the grace of God and then is also an anointing service. By the grace of God, I'll be laying hands on everyone tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus. Many of you have gotten so familiar with the laying on of hands. You just think it's about touching your forehead. No. It's about an impartation. It's about activating something in your life. Hallelujah. I welcome all those who came from far. It's always a blessing having people come around. We give God all the praise. Hallelujah. Worthy is the slain holy holy is he sing a new song to him who sits on heaven's mercy sing. hallelujah holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty. Was and is and is to come. In all creation I sing praise to the King of Kings. Father, we give you all the praise because you are faithful. You are the lamb that sits upon the throne and we honor you in the name of Jesus. We give you all the praise. To him who sits on the throne and unto the lamb. To him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb, to Him who sits on the throne, and unto the Lamb, be blessing and honor and glory and power forever. sits on the throne and unto the Lamb to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb to him who sits on the throne and unto the Lamb honor and glory and power forever be all blessing and honor and glory and power forever 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 
done it forever and ever. It's forever. It's forever. It's forever. Thank you for your blood. We give you all the praise for the blood. And we are eternally grateful for shedding that precious blood. That blood that was shed for our sins. The price, the ultimate price. You pay the price, the highest price, and I'm so grateful for your love. You took my pain, and now I stand. To be called your very own. It's because you leave, Jesus. I leave. I have no fear of what tomorrow brings. Because you leave, Jesus, I leave today. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood of the Lamb. I pray that tonight God will give us at least a bit of the revelation of what Jesus Christ went through for our sake. Lord, you took our place. You truly paid the price. Hallelujah. Worthy is the Lamb, and we praise you. Let the name of Jesus be lifted. We thank you for the blood. We thank you for your death, for giving yourself for us. We remain grateful. We truly, truly remain grateful. I really want to worship you, my God. You have won my heart and I am yours. Forever and ever, I will love you. You are the only one who died for me. Gave you to set me free. So I lift my voice to you. Hallelujah. The entire scope of our Christian experience is about knowing what God has done for us in Christ and our response to that reality. Hallelujah. This afternoon I was watching a Jesus film and I couldn't help but begin to cry. I just sat down. It was not initiated by me. I was just watching it and I said, goodness. Oh, Lamb of God, sweet Lamb of God, I love the Holy Lamb of God. Oh, Lamb of God, 
sweet lamb of God, my Jesus is the lamb of God, bread of heaven sent down from glory, many things you are on earth. A holy king, a carpenter. You are the living word, say, bread of heaven, sent down from glory. Many things you are on earth. A holy king, a carpenter. Is the awesome ruler, awesome ruler, Gentile redeemer, God with us to live in truth, and what a friend we have in you. You are the living one, say, Jesus, Jesus, that's what I call you. Born, but on a tree, you died to save humanity. You are the living word, Jesus, Jesus. That's what I call you. Manger born, but on a tree, you died to save humanity. Tonight, very briefly, I just want to talk about just very, very briefly the significance of the death of Jesus and why he had to shed his blood. Couldn't he have died without the blood? Hallelujah. Now listen, the realm of the spirit is a realm that works with very definite spiritual laws. Hallelujah. Everybody says spiritual laws. The realm of the spirit does not leave any chance to guesswork and the initiating of anything by man's or from man's opinion. There are exact spiritual laws that must be followed through for any process to be achieved in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. I just read two powerful spiritual laws. The first was in Ezekiel 18. The Bible says the soul that sinneth, any soul at all, is a law. The soul that sinneth, it shall die. In other words, the price, the penalty... The price tag that was put upon any life that sins is death. This is according to the justice of God. This is according to the laws, the irrefutable laws of the spirit. Everyone said the soul that sinneth, it shall die. It's not subject to begging, not subject to negotiation. Any soul that sins, that law catches up with the person immediately. Hallelujah. The soul that sinned, it shall die. Gender irrespective. Age irrespective. Hallelujah. And then the Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 9. How that without the shedding of blood. In other words, there is another law in the spirit. That if peradventure there is any chance to help that sinner. 
it must be with the shedding of blood hallelujah please follow me two very important laws the first law is what the soul that sins it shall die that means every time you are a sinner there is a hand of justice upon you for as long as you are still alive a hand of justice that keeps crying for that law to be at work in your life are you following me now the bible says the soul that sins white sin black sin doesn't matter the soul that sins it shall die then hebrews chapter 9 tells us that if that issue of sin will ever be dealt with whoever will want to deal with that sin must initiate a process of the shedding of blood not the donation the shedding of blood that means the bible tells us that that justice is irrefutable the only chance for it to be considered and reversed is when there is a shedding of blood hallelujah so what is it about blood not the blood of jesus now what is it about blood that is so powerful that even in death it is able to initiate a negotiation what is it about death about blood the blood of anything just blood hallelujah occultist every religion i know this is the common ground for every religion they respect blood and they have something to do with blood hallelujah right from the garden of eden we begin to see how that when man fell god himself stripped a lamb a bloody lamb and used it to cover adam and eve right from the garden of eden there was the shedding of blood and then all through the old testament we see the shedding of the blood of bulls but the question i have is what is it about blood that makes it effective why not flesh why not water is it the color of the blood is blood anything that is just red in a human body is it the reddish color that gives it power because many people know that the blood saves but we do not know what is it in the blood that is so powerful that even satan and death the last enemy to be destroyed can respect it hallelujah all through scripture we see that every time blood was shed there was an invisible force that stopped men from doing whatever they wanted to do kings in ancient times would slaughter their children and allow the blood to spill on the earth and at once it will end the war no matter how angry the enemies were what is it about the blood not the blood of jesus just blood hallelujah is it the color of the blood or is it that the blood is liquid so if i inject somebody now and a blue substance come out do we call that blood is it the color that makes it bloody because you see the reason why the church has not been able to access the power of the blood is because we have been taught that the blood is powerful but the truth is we have not been given a revelation of what makes it powerful what makes the blood powerful is it because it was jesus that shed it how about the ones of bulls and goats how about the one of the ones of children that native doctors shed and they enter a city and kill people and no man can stop it how about that one king of kings lord of lords you are faithful and true lamb of god i worship you i took a little study to find out what is it from from a medical and a historical perspective what is it about blood that makes demons tremble what is it about blood 
that makes demons hungry for blood. How many of you have heard that thing that demons and occultists and some people living in the village drink blood? There are many of us who come from places where every year they make sacrifices. And frankly speaking, they are not as concerned about the flesh. That blood. When the priest sees the blood in a calabash, he starts smiling. What does it do to him? What is the revelation? If you understand this, I'm telling you, you will walk out of certain chains this night. Just like that. It is not the color of blood that makes it powerful. It's not the color. Even if God suddenly made a pronouncement now that blood changed to blue, it will not suddenly make blood more powerful. Hallelujah. So what is it about blood that makes it powerful? Watch this. Goodness. When somebody, listen, when somebody is almost dying in the hospital, the doctors just run and they take pints of blood. Is that true? And they now begin to inject blood in the person. All of a sudden, strength returns. What did the blood do? Couldn't they have put water and just say, oh God, drink one gallon of water. Let's see how far it goes. What is it about the blood? Hallelujah. Shoot a gun at a man. If blood does not come out, a possibility exists that he may be able to survive. But let blood begin to come out. And suddenly you see the man start getting weak. And then he collapses. In spite of his skeletal structure. In spite of the brain that is at work. Just one component leaving his body. And the man dies. What is the power of blood? What is this mystery? Hallelujah. That makes blood so powerful. To an extent that when Cain killed Abel, the Bible says, although Abel was dead, is that true? The blood was speaking. So question, was it the blood that was Abel? <laughs> I kept searching because I needed to find out, you see, the way my mind operates, my mind operates like a machine. I don't just receive things that are haphazard. I need to be convinced that these things work. Hallelujah. My mind works like a machine. You don't just tell me, okay, this and that. Just believe it just like that. No, no. I want to understand the working component of that process. What makes it work? Hallelujah. When you meet a native doctor and you tell him something is wrong, this and that, the Baba just laughs and said these are the requirements bring a goat right now you bring the goat and the man slaughters the goat and they ensure that the blood is drained in a calabash as soon as the blood is drained in a calabash things begin to happen all kinds of satanic things we keep singing songs there is power in the blood question if it was not Jesus that died, would there still be power in blood? Because before Jesus died, blood had been shed. And we see that it carried some mighty degree of power. For instance, the Bible tells us how that when um, the sons of Saul, remember, they were required that they had to be slain for peace to return in Israel. The Bible says Saul gave his seven sons and they slayed all the seven sons. And God himself didn't stop it. The enemy slayed seven sons. When their blood touched the earth, at once there was peace. Hallelujah. What is this factor in blood that makes it powerful? Leviticals, please. Truly, there is power in the blood of Jesus. Really, there's power in any blood, even your own. It's just that the blood of Jesus is all powerful.
Leviticus 17 verse 11a just the a part Leviticus 17 Let's just read the whole of the verse 11 17 11 are you there one to read just stop there for a while read it again the life of any flesh is resident where in the brain in the heart where in the bones he said the life of any flesh is found there's no time for me to begin to give you i i just prayed that i would be able to do just do a little teaching so that we can have time to do what we're doing tonight i wish there was time to show you the things i found out about these scriptures that i'm sharing with you it will blow your mind and open you up to another dimension i hope that god grants us grace to do a teaching or a series in this place but he said the life of the flesh is where ah so it begins to give us an idea of what the big deal is about blood did he say the blood of jesus he said it's in where the life of any living creature is resident in his blood are you seeing what makes blood powerful so blood is not powerful because of the color blood is not powerful because it is liquid blood is powerful because the life of whatever that blood came from is resident in that blood so every time we talk about shedding of blood we are really talking about giving up life are you getting my point that was why in the old testament a curse was put on whoever eats blood because as far as god was concerned it was the same thing as eating a human being are you getting the revelation now the life of the flesh is in the blood in other words as i'm standing right now if you create a process and begin to drain the blood out of me without any replenishment i will stand right here and die right here is that true because the life of this flesh this body is in the blood hallelujah so the life of a goat is where the life of a human being is where the life of a chicken is where are you seeing that now so your blood represents your life are you getting me if you want to know your worth hold your blood in a calabash and this is all your worth throw it on the ground and you are gone you get the point so the entire thing about sacrifices and the mosaic law and everything it was about using life to cover are you getting my point now for something that someone had done in accordance with the law we just shared in we shared in hebrews chapter 9 are you getting me it says without the shedding of what there is no remission of in other words without the shedding of life correct for every time somebody sins the law is either that person or whoever can volunteer on his behalf must be able to shed his life the moment he sheds his life that sin has been lifted waiting for another sin to be committed you get my point if another one is committed another volunteer is required that's how the law works so every time you sin the law begins to catch up with you and satan listen to me satan did not create the law hello that law was part of god's justice system it was not created by god as satan began to explore i hope you know satan was in charge of justice not just worship alone so as satan began to search the archives of god's justice he found out that there was a provision there that any soul that sins it shall die are you getting my point and that for anyone to die 
or for that sin to be forgiven there had to be remission of sin so when adam came what did satan try to get man to do to sin because he understood the law satan wanted man to die and he said i remember that law let me make god himself walk against his law and he led man to sin are you getting me now because he never knew that there was a possibility for god to become man so he knew that there would not be any ransom are you getting my point now and listen because the bible tells us that there are many kinds of bodies is that true there are terrestrial that means there are different levels and qualities of life are you getting me so the gravity of your offense determines the class of the life that will be shared that's why a herbalist can look and say no this condition is easy just bring a chicken based on our incantation a chicken is within the range of life that can atone for this when you look at one you say this is more than chicken go and bring goat there's one that he will even say no bring a man there is one that you say no not just a man a pure child whose blood has not been defiled are you getting me those are acute spiritual conditions that require certain or they say some virgins you see ancient kings in those days they would bring their daughters and they had to be virgins in other words not touched by any man and then they would they would make the sacrifice bury them alive and use the blood to do certain things and it worked it worked because it was a law listen let me share with you a revelation i hope that all of us can sustain the spiritual maturity to take this listen did you know that thank god we did not come from all of these heterogeneous religions in the world most of us were christians and maybe a few of us were from other religions who just came but when you study other world's religion all right you will find out that most of these religions actually thrive on spiritual laws that god created are you getting me when you study the content of their operation and the reason why although these are perverse religions they seem to have results it is because they are manipulating spiritual laws are you getting my point now but the reason why they got those laws was when the fallen angels came they began to teach men some things that they should not teach them you think the women just gave themselves to those angels when they came they started saying there is a secret i want to show you something all that god told you is not all that there is the holy ghost was supposed to be the one to teach us this but now this wicked spirit started teaching man to know so that he can use it to destroy another man are you getting my point now so they started teaching men how that you can make incantations and invoke the spirit of another it is not like it is the invocation please don't misunderstand me it is not that it is the invocation that was initiated by satan but the power and the knowledge that sponsors that spiritual operation is demonic are you getting my point now that's why a herbalist can pray for a man and the person will be healed are you getting my point what is wrong with that process is it the healing the healing is wrong because it was not initiated by the spirit although the man is healthy the glory does not go to god are you getting my point so in the kingdom the means also matters just as the end I, is somebody understanding what i'm saying otherwise we have no right to criticize somebody who uses voodoo or yoga to ease somebody else of stress are you getting my point people do it in films and the rest and they use these voodoo incantations and they get people who are not pregnant pregnant they do a lot of things so what is wrong with that everything is wrong with that because although it is a manipulation of spiritual laws but it was initiated and sponsored by darkness god designed the kingdom such that god must be the initiator the sustainer of every spiritual process so it's not an issue of whether the process was spiritual or not are you getting my point if it was not initiated by god and sustained by god it is of the devil 
even if it produces the results you expected it to produce what that means is if i kill a small child and use the blood to take to a herbalist and in one month i become a billionaire did i really become a billionaire yes did real money come to me yes so am i righteous for doing that no am i going to hell for doing that of course a correct process can i help charity with the money yes can you bring the money and sow it in church many people are doing it does it make it right no why because the spirit of god or the word of god the character of the kingdom did not initiate and sustain that process are you understanding what i'm teaching tonight let me give you a little example I'm already doing sign of the cross so that some of you will not stone me how many of you believe that man was made from the earth the bible says it right adam dust now what that means is the components of the earth were the raw materials that were used to create man is that true how many of us agree man was made from dust is that true I want to share with you a few spiritual secrets did you know that the hair of man was made from grass when i teach you i will share with you the principle of reflection we call this in theology the principle of reflection how that things just like the moon does not have life on its own it reflects the glory of the sun that means if you want to see what the moon is there is something it was made in its similitude so the Bible says man was created in the similitude of the earth in an attempt to communicate something. Are you getting my point? You look at the similitude of your hair and the grass that grows. You can barb it, you can mow it. The eyes of man was made from water. This is how the herbalists, that's why they can go to the river. Is that true? And do incantation and the river will suddenly become eyes. They will begin to see from it. It's in your Bible. How did they invoke the spirit of Samuel? That's why I started by repenting. Hmm. Should I share a few more? Listen, don't carry this tomorrow in your small fellowship and say, I have a word from the Lord. He opened my eyes yesterday and there's something I must share with you. How many of you know that your head, don't carry misguided revelations you cannot prove when they sit you down and begin to ask you to prove i make sure i can prove what i say before i say i'm just trying to hurry up praise god i hope that we'll get to do bible study the teeth and the bones of men were made from rocks the principle of reflection hallelujah that's why after your body is long decayed like the rocks your teeth and your skeletal system still remains hallelujah the veins of man was made from the roots of plants see the way the roots work How, is it not them that supply nutrients this is called the principle of reflection some of you are looking at me what, the bible gives you a clue is that true it tells you that adam was made from the components of the earth not just dust that means the material of his physical creation were components of the earth this is the principle that witches and wizards take advantage of so when they want to see something someone stole in your house and your parents who are idol worshippers say let's go to baba's place he just says bring me a calabash is that true and then they go to a riverside all of a sudden the man says it was on tuesday two o'clock this is what many prophets are using today. Are you seeing manipulation of spiritual laws that were not initiated and sustained by the spirit, but they are in their spiritual laws. Hallelujah. Listen the reason why hear me the reason why man can survive in this system are you getting my point was because 
part of the tools that were used to create his physical body were compliant to the system he's living in are you getting my point that's why when you are sick the plants can still heal you is that not true doctors use what is it not processed herbs native doctors use what no not just herbs herbs plus power from the underworld is that true so whether through medicine or through whatever the supernatural is at work there because the doctor gives you chloroquine the remaining is a system that they cannot explain you don't swallow drugs and look at the drugs and say panadol go to my head make sure you don't dodge to the leg do you say that you just do what and the panadol configured within itself knows that as busy as your body is it should find its way to your head that's the same way a microorganism that you call unicellular how many of you did complexity in biology and you were taught that um unicellular organisms have the least complexity is that true yet a a, a waterborne disease can enter your body a unicellular cell but it can know that is your heart it should go and attach itself to yet we call them unicellular and it enters your body it sees your eye it just jumps it says, i'm not for the eye where is the heart it has never it was not there when the human heart was created yet it can find its way and know that this is the heart and stay there and know that there are white blood cells and other platelets and the rest coming in the body and it stops and begins to paralyze your immunity yet we call it unicellular so could it be that, that, that there is a lie somewhere in this story write what they taught you write what they taught you hallelujah what is it about blood that makes it powerful blood is a representation of the life of whatever organism produced that blood and it's also a representation of the quality of life not just the life but the quality the levels so the bible says the soul that seen it it shall die the soul that seen it it shall die if joshua selman seen it according to the law of god he must die are you getting my point if a do sins according to the law of god he must die if this little baby sins according to the law of god's justice he must die so satan said i'm aware of this law let's take that law to the garden of eden and when he used it and man fell satan was excited do you know he was excited because he knew that man was doomed to die i've said it again and again i hope you know that adam was not deceived there's no time i would have shown you from the bible a lot of people keep blaming ladies and say you people wicked people you spoiled our generation there's nothing like that listen it was for the love that man had for the woman listen do you know what it means to fall short of god's glory it doesn't mean to backslide is to reduce yourself to a spiritual strata where you cannot become in the class of god again are you getting my point that's what happened to eve when she ate adam was still standing but there was no relationship and he took the tree and joined her the bible clearly says adam was not deceived Ladies, I bring you deliverance in Jesus' name. Any man that falls should hold himself responsible. Love took you there. Love is still taking men to do all kinds of things today. Where did the saying, I will die for you, come? From Adam? From a lot of zealous lovers around who may not understand the implication of what they are saying. They didn't even run for you. Talk more of dying for you let's continue praise the Lord the soul that sins it shall die so 
let me hurry up with the story it was inevitable for the blood of bulls and goats to atone why was it why was it not possible for complete atonement you know what atonement is let me define it for you very quickly please write that word down to make atonement is to satisfy someone or something for an offense committed to satisfy someone or something for an offense committed by paying a price so you atone uh, by by satisfying somebody or something that was offended by paying the price the legal terminology is bail when you go and pay some amount so that someone who was declared guilty can come out of a prison cell hallelujah so every time you talk about blood the first function of blood is to atone for justice or judgment that is speaking somewhere are you getting my point if it is true that life works on a legal ground whenever you talk about blood we talk about mercy but uh -uh, you will not understand it just by talking about mercy you have to know that justice necessitated the coming of that blood the mercy there is to the one who could not help himself who committed the offense are you understanding what i'm saying now so when man fell they tried the blood of bulls but the quality and the longevity listen another spiritual law another spiritual law that was given moses was that when the lamb was to be slain all right the age of the lamb mattered are you getting me the atonement a day in the hebrew called yom kippur it was once in a year are you getting my point now it was called the day of atonement once in a year when the priest would come in with the blood of a lamb in the most holy place to atone for the sins of the israelites and it so happened listen that the atonement the validity of the atonement was what one year are you getting my point and if that were to continue then every year the priest would keep atoning so now jesus shows up i love jesus i love jesus when jesus showed up after 30 years he began to carry out his ministry did very mighty things now i need you to know that the kind of birth that happened to jesus was one of the reasons that qualified him to be able to use his blood are you getting me how well i hope that you know if you don't know know it now that the blood in the child comes from the man is that true medically proven the woman is just the one that holds the child but the blood of the child comes from the man not the woman hence it was a possibility for mary to take jesus without the nature of man corrupting him the very cell that fertilized mary's egg was the life so way the life of god that's why the holy ghost himself played the fatherly role of jesus are you getting me joseph wanted to marry jesus god said oh god you wait oh you are going to wait just be patient for one year because something needs to happen here without your involvement you are a man you are a victim you are part of those that need to be saved there is a voice of judgment speaking the bible says by one man sin came and then through reproduction other people came into that covenant are you getting my point now so every baby that was born even if the baby had never committed any act of sin that voice of judgment began to speak from birth because all have sinned and fallen short as a result of that sin of the glory of god how many all have sinned and fallen short of that glory jews gentiles don't let anybody make you look like your state is the worst when they say this is your state now i will say all have sinned how many 
Is that not a powerful revelation? All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Now Jesus came. Please watch this. Mary just agreed with the Holy Spirit. And he was born. The Bible says the power of the highest shall what? Overshadow you. All of a sudden, her stomach started protruding. Like a woman who was pregnant. Now watch this. Mary had not been defiled by a man. And then the cell of a man was not in her womb. So Jesus grew and came out. Are you getting my point? Watch this. Principalities and powers. They knew. Listen. They knew what happened. That's why if you are born again like Jesus, you must be born of the spirit. Are you getting my point? Jesus was born of the spirit. Is that true? If you are to be really born again, then you must be born of the spirit. So Jesus came and he, he disguised himself because the Holy Ghost had not come to identify him. So when through all of the constellations and the operations of certain spiritual laws, the Herod and his wise men and all the people, they knew that another king had been done, had been born. The spirit of the Antichrist began to move them to look for Jesus and kill him. Are you getting my point? So they killed all the children. And Herod believed that Jesus was one of all those children that were killed. So he piped down until he died. And then the angel told Joseph, he said, you can go now. They that seek the life of the child have, have, have died. Jesus walked for 30 years. He kept doing a lot of things nobody knew. But listen, Satan had been studying what was happening in history. Are you getting me? So when John, because a prophecy was left in the garden of Eden. He says, Satan, you think you have done your worst, but the seed of the woman shall bruise your head. So Satan got scared because he knew that God does not just talk nonsense. Before God speaks, he has made the, so he started seeing and Satan knew that nothing happens on earth until he's prophesied. So he started chasing every prophet and everybody to hear what they will say. And then Isaiah said, who had believed our report? He started confusing Satan. What is all this? That's why the prophets use coded languages. They said, he shall see the travail of his soul and he shall be satisfied. He was bruised for iniquities. And hell was saying, who is this? Is this Isaiah? So it kept on like that. When John was born, Satan was almost sure because he was the last prophet before Jesus. That's why the spirit of the Antichrist moved the Pharisees to ask John, are you that one that should come so that they can kill him fast? And then John, they said, are you Elias? John said, nay. Are you this? He said, nay. And the thing frustrated Satan. He said, who are you? He said, I'm the voice of one crying. He said, what kind of God? It was a coded language. <laughs> Hallelujah. And then a time came when Jesus would no longer hide it. He came. While John was being trained in the wilderness. Are you getting me? God gave him a signal. He said, whoever you see the dove come upon, know as a sign. I've said it again. John was not a Baptist. His baptizing was to help him identify Jesus. That was why after the baptism of Jesus, he stopped baptizing. John was a prophet. John was a prophet. He started baptizing. And then when he saw Jesus, he looked. He looked with his prophetic eyes. He said, behold the lamb. I found you. The scribes were just standing dumbfounded. And then he said, no, I am not worthy. Because the information that was given to me in the secret place about you, I cannot be the one to baptize you. Jesus said, we are still working something. Suffer it to be so. Because I'm coming on a legal ground. So everything must be done. Somebody must lay hands on me. Suffer it to be so that the scripture, not that I will be Lord, that the scripture should be fulfilled. So that when Jesus dies, there will be no law that Satan can take to God and say, based on this, it was not followed. 
So Jesus had to follow the process. Are you getting my point now? And then finally, the Holy Ghost descended upon him. And God said, all right, it's no secret again. This is that beloved son. The moment he announced it, Satan told all the demons, what are you waiting for? Oh yeah. That was why they started looking for Jesus to kill him. Immediately. Immediately. They started looking for Jesus to kill him. Hallelujah. And then he told them, he said, let me give you another mystery. My time has not come. In other words, don't you think I'm afraid of death? I came to do a lot of things. Death is part of it because my life must go. And if my life, listen, the life of God came into blood so that it can be shed. Are you getting my point? Since the life of every flesh is in the blood, God's own life concealed itself in the blood of Jesus. I pray that you will understand what I'm sharing. I'm getting to the crux of this message. Please bring the communion and something mighty will happen in this place. Like, Hallelujah. So Jesus was walking with the blood of God. Are you getting my point? The life of a flesh is in the blood. So this was the life of God. It was going to be transferred into man. But Satan did not know. That was why every time they looked, the demon said, Ah, is this not the Son of God? And Jesus said, Keep quiet. This is a hidden thing. When it was time for him to give up himself, something happened. Hallelujah. Something very, very remarkable happened. Please follow me. Jesus now said, This is the hour of darkness. And he sat with the disciples at table. Watch this. A powerful covenant was going to take place. Jesus said, guys, it's time for you to eat bread and take wine. And the disciples said, we've been hungry. We can't wait. Jesus said, hold on. Something is happening here you do not know. In John, when you read from verse 6 down to 8, Jesus began to speak. And he shared another spiritual mystery. That it is possible to come into a man. By eating his flesh and his blood. Hold on. What is the mystery of marriage? What is the mystery of marriage? Two people. Come, my dear. When you understand this, you will know how it is possible for us to come into Christ. Hallelujah. Watch this. This is a lady on her own. I'm someone on my own. We come together. And by a divine pronouncement, is that true? A divine pronouncement, they say we are husband and wife. We have become one flesh. All right? Then when a man sleeps with his wife, they now give birth to one entity that is a combination of both of them. It's the culmination of their oneness. So the child that is born is the ultimate demonstration that the man and the woman are truly one. Is that true? Help me, is it true? so jesus listen jesus who serves as the second adam now sits with his eve the bride and that was a wedding matrimony that was going to go on there but they did not understand listen to me the church is called the bride of christ jesus is called the second adam just like the first adam was betrothed to what his wife so jesus is about to be betrothed to his bride are you getting the revelation but the people did not understand and it was 12 only 12 of them because 12 is the prophetic number for government and the government represent the people are you understanding this now so jesus sits at table and he takes up the cup Praise the Lord. Watch this. He already told them in John. He said, if there is a possibility for you to eat my flesh, drink my blood, you can have my life. And what was his life? The life of God. Look at the spiritual laws that were being obeyed to transfer the life of God into the life of man. 
are you getting the point it had to be done on legal on legal grounds and he said this just like a priest announces i now declare you husband and wife jesus standing as the high priest said this is my cup of the new covenant that i am now entering with you drink this as often as you can are you getting me now and he broke the bread he said take my body my body that is given for you and when they took it and they ate it jesus laughed because they had now satisfied the spiritual law that can permit the world to come into the man so i am um, please permit me to use a word that may sound vulgar it's like a man sleeping with his wife to give birth to a baby that's what we call the passion of the christ are you getting my point the church in christ going to the cross to birth a new seed how do i communicate this oh lord help me all the while satan did not know this and satan kept moving the people kill jesus notice jesus refused to die because if he just died like that it would be a waste man was not involved just like a, a woman cannot sleep with herself or a man sleep with himself they need two of them to produce that child are you getting my point so the communion was necessary for crucifixion to make sense and the shedding of blood to make sense are you getting what i'm saying the only way i see one or two small children here if not i would have used the mystery of marriage to explain to you what really happened but let's god will grant us grace you are understanding in jesus name that's why marriage is a serious thing to god because it was the principle that was used to redeem man are you getting my point so jesus immediately after the communion now he had the legal right to become sin are you getting my point then he went to get semeny when he went to get semeny look at immediately after the communion he went to get semeny and he started crying why was he crying i will tell you why he was crying he was crying because now on legal basis he needed to become the second adam how did the first adam become a fallen man the holy spirit left him so at the garden of eden i mean at gethsemane just like the garden of eden are you seeing now they were all gardens the holy ghost had to leave jesus that was why jesus was crying he said is there a possibility the psalmist knew this and he was speaking he said take not your holy spirit from me it was a prophetic statement he said cast me not away from your presence he was not singing a song he said take not your holy spirit so the holy spirit was taken from jesus at that point he fully became man seen able to take the nature of man and from there they caught him and he looked helpless he could not do anything the prophecy of isaiah 53 begins it says who has believed our report in other words if we explain this to men will they believe that god disguised himself became a man he said who had believed our report that whoever believes that report the arm of the lord will be shown to him that salvation he said who has believed that report hallelujah so jesus went to the cross now all the things that happened to jesus was very important a crown of thorn was put on his head because man lost dominion and the symbol of dominion is the crown of the king so everything that happened from there was the exchange everybody say the exchange so everything we were not christ became so that we will become what he is you get the revelation so they put the crown of thorns on his head they didn't even know what they were doing and he kept quiet when they started flogging him when they started flogging him it was very very although he was in pains but it was the fulfillment of isaiah's prophecy watch this when they were flogging him what started coming out everybody what started coming out 
and i told you that every time blood is shed the issue of death begins to be negotiated because without the shedding of blood there is no what remission of sins that means there is no pardoning from death the moment the blood of jesus started touching the earth from which man was created it was a mystery and they were flogging jesus christ tearing his flesh the bible says he shall see the travail of his soul because man did not offend satan man offended god are you getting me so according to the justice of god either man or somebody else must be punished to the degree of that offense for god to be appeased if i steal your laptop and they catch me and they say i'm going to spend 10 days in the prison that punishment comforts you it's a reward for that stealing so the bible says god will see the travail of whoever that scapegoat is and a time will come when it will satisfy his heart for the offense of man then justice would have had its cause are you getting me so satan made them to be beating jesus christ and they did not know they led him to the cross it was a tree that made man fall it would be a tree that would redeem man and so they went to the cross and when they hung there watch this jesus looked at them and when he looked at them watch a mystery that happened at the cross do you know i told you that the passion of the christ can be likened to intercourse between a man and a woman to produce a child i'll prove it to you do you notice that at the cross like the climax of that intercourse who was there the mother of jesus where was the father because we were going to be born of the spirit the mother of jesus was there are you getting my point and then john was standing there is that true and he was called john the beloved jesus said you people are mourning you don't know what you represent here he said mother behold what your son and son behold the woman that gave birth to you it was a coded language because women are gates in the spirit the only gates through which another life can pass hallelujah and when jesus hung on that cross while his blood was dripping in the realm of the spirit the blood was not just falling everywhere the blood was falling in a specific container it was the life zoe was just giving way please listen very very important and jesus hung not as the christ but jesus who had become seen jesus the career of joshua selman sin jesus the career of maman sin jesus the car are you getting my point now on that cross that was what paul saw he said i have been crucified with christ what did paul see hallelujah and now jesus looked up and he said it is finished what was he seeing at what point did he know that it was finished and then he died i've taught it again and again when sinners die where do they go to so jesus died sin not just a sinner so where would he go to he couldn't have gone to heaven because the spirit of adoption that seals men was not on him and he went there was joy in hell all kinds of joy unspeakable all of a sudden jesus shows up in hell hallelujah and i hope you know well we'll talk about that the compartment of hell called hades the place of the dead i know there have been a lot of debates about that i won't go into that but the saints of all were there in first peter the bible tells us that jesus went there preached the gospel to them is that true <laughs> when jesus went satan looked and that was when he knew that this was adam coming to collect back the keys the second adam the first adam was there he was part of all the people together with father abraham and the rest 
the place of the dead. And Jesus, the Bible says, all the cohorts of hell were on him. They were trying to stop him. When God saw the travail of his soul and justice was made, listen, very powerful. The Bible says Jesus shook them, making a public show of them. All this drama happened in hell. Oh. And immediately that happened, he went to Satan, Satan himself, and said, give me the keys Adam gave you in the Garden of Eden. Give it to me. You see that? And yeah, that's what happened. Revelation chapter 1. I am he that was dead, but now is alive and I hold the keys. Where did he get it? He got it in hell. Give that keys of dominion that gave you access over the earth. Because until Jesus died and collected it, Satan was the god of this system. Legally, what Adam should have been. That's why Satan took Jesus and said, come. He took him to a mountain and showed him the riches. Jesus never argued with Satan because he was not lying. Satan oh, dragged Jesus to a mountain. He said, come, all these glories, I will give it to you. Satan said, because it has been given to me. He was mocking Jesus. Adam gave it to me. And Jesus said, no problem. It's a matter of time, I will strip you of it. When he collected it, watch this. He went to the prison, Isaiah 61, to open the prison gates to those who are bound. You see what the prophet was saying? He opened that prison and Abraham and the rest, they joined him. And when he resurrected, the Bible says graves were open. Whose graves? Is it not in your Bible? Graves were open and the saints of old came out. They walked in the streets. They knew them. They knew them. Let me prove to you they knew them. At the transfiguration of Jesus, when Elijah and Moses appeared, what did Peter say? He said, wow, thank God we are here. Let us make three tents. One for you, one for Moses, one for Elijah. Who told him? Hallelujah. Jesus resurrected. Came back into this realm. And he was about to finish the sacrifice as the high priest so when mary wanted to touch him she said rabboni said no don't touch me i paid so much price to make sure that i get this blood and right now i'm going to the heavenly tabernacle the book of hebrews so jesus enters he was both the lamb and the high priest and i told you there is a law that the age of the lamb determine the validity of the atonement so the blood of god which is the life of god who is the ancient of days the ageless one that blood was drained and when jesus went to heaven he poured it upon the heavenly tabernacle the moment that happened he came down he said guys touch me touch any part you want to touch it no longer can defile me the transaction has been done This was the revelation Paul saw and said, wow, had they known this, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. So Satan was part of those who acted the movie to make sure man was saved. That's why every time you mention the blood, it reminds him of his foolishness. Every time you mention the blood, it reminds him that the price had been paid and that he was part of those who ensured that the price was paid. hallelujah watch this i'm about to round up when they touched him jesus said all hail he said all authority in the heavens and in the earth has been given unto me and he began to teach them a lot of things these were the mysteries that he was teaching them for 40 days in acts chapter 1 before he finally did the bible says he was with them a period of 40 days teaching them on the matters of the kingdom he was sharing this thing with them and paul now telling the hebrew church he said let us therefore the blood somebody has paid the price with his life every time you say blood of jesus with revelation what you are saying is whatever will stop me from entering this let the life of god 
give me access to step in are you seeing that now so if the traditional rulers in your village and so on and so forth they have been sacrificing before you were born and they believe they can lay claims and you come in through the blood suddenly the price of the blood opens the gate and he say walk out you are free you can shout blood of jesus and remain in captivity because there is no knowledge and because there is no revelation or you have not known how to activate that which christ has done so i come from a place with witchcraft for instance i come from a place with killing and all of a sudden i realize that this blood was shed for me and i stand and in the name of the lord jesus christ i begin to speak the moment i say blood of jesus because demons are not like men they don't have short memory it's as clear as yesterday before them what jesus did and so when i begin to plead the blood what i mean is i begin to call the price that was paid for my freedom just like somebody wants to harass you and you say is this not my receipt did i not pay school fees was it not complete what then is the accusation And the Bible says, every time we take of the bread, which is a type of his body, listen, and we take of the cup, which is a type of his blood, we are not just satisfying hunger, but we are reenacting a revelation. The same way people offer sacrifices again to remind the gods that we are still loyal over this land it still belongs to you even after 100 years gods you are still the ones in charge every time we take this we are not only speaking to god but we are speaking to the gates of hell and we are saying we are still one with christ and this is the proof we are eating of his body we are drinking of his blood that means we have access to his life because the life of that flesh is in the blood and when we take it that life becomes part of our inheritance and then it can open the doors of sickness it can open every kind of legal door the blood the life of god watch this although this is ordinary zobo or drink or whatever and this is ordinary wafers but by faith, the same way the Holy Ghost made the word become flesh, the Holy Ghost can make the flesh become the word. Hallelujah. So the Holy Ghost takes this flesh and changes it into a literal spiritual substance. That the moment you take this, it's not just going to your stomach. Because the Bible says the body which is the word is able to go beyond your bones and marrows and to the joints and is the discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart it can purify a man's conscience so when blood is crying against you and saying are you supposed to succeed in life are you not supposed to be a victim and the devil says were you not part of those drinking and smoking you say yes and the moment he wants to execute that judgment the blood comes in between you and jesus says how about this how about the price how about the price that was paid and so satan wants to work another formula and that formula is ignorance so although the price has been has been paid he comes to many believers and convinces them that the price has not been paid or the principle to activate that reality in their lives there are people right now who will look at this communion and just think it's a ritual that's why the bible said be careful when you take the communion if your heart is not truly committed to god and you take the communion the bible says for this purpose some are weak and some even do sleep that means taking the communion in a way that mocks god can kill a man the same way it can give life tonight the life of God is in that blood of Jesus that was shed and as we take this prophetically and symbolically 
I want you to know that mighty things will happen in this place. That's why I gave you revelations. Many of you, as you take this communion, imagine yourself standing at the gates of your families and looking at the assaults of the devil. And as you lift up this communion, you say, Lord, behold, this is the evidence that I should walk out of this age-long thing. This is the evidence. This is my evidence. This is my school fees. When Satan says, after all, you committed an abortion, you say, Satan is not a lie, but this is the evidence. The speaking blood that speaks mercy, that judges every other voice. When the devil looks and says, you will remain barren. Did they not covenant your family? You lift it and say, this is my evidence. The body and the bread. This is a sign that Jesus died. And Jesus looks from his throne and says, Satan, you had him. Give way. And he gives you way to walk out of that prison. Many people will be healed tonight. I mean it from the depths of my heart. Many restorations will happen tonight. Some of you may not even be able to hold this bottle, I tell you. Because I'm about to pray that the power of the highest that overshadowed Mary, that it will come upon this communion. Everybody rise up. Just blast in tongues for five minutes. Ratatakapa, the speaking blood, the speaking blood, the speaking blood, the atoning blood, the speaking blood, the atoning blood, the speaking blood. It says Joshua Selman not guilty Joshua Selman not guilty yes you sin but the blood speaks the blood speaks let him go free let her go free I paid it with my life hear me hear me revelations 11 and 12 begins to tell us that satan is called the accuser of the brethren when they caught the woman who was in adultery the bible says they caught her in the very act that means they didn't even allow her to take her bath with all the evidences they dragged her to jesus and jesus said he who does not have sin cast the first stone and when they left he said woman where are your accusers that's what satanic altars do they lift up accusations legal accusations that will keep you in sickness legal accusations that you will not get that job legal accusations that the marriage will not come but tonight as you leave the communion the speaking blood the blood of the Lord Jesus that speaks that speaks that advocates hallelujah everybody shout the blood that speaks the blood that sets free the blood that redeems the blood that satisfies justice now listen listen before i begin to administer the communion we're going to do it very fast i tell you i sense the anointing of god strong on me because after this i'm going to lay hands on people hallelujah listen there are two prayer points we are going to pray the first one Isaiah 53 verse 1 it says who has believed our report so this is for those who believe the report there are people who have not believed the report 
So the communion will not make any sense to you. But tonight, who has believed this report? Who has believed that the blood speaks? I don't care what religion you belong to. I don't care what you have done or not done. Tonight, first prayer point, Lord, I believe your report. Lift your voice and pray. I believe. I believe. Lord, I believe. Lord, I believe. I believe you died for me. You shed your blood which represents your life as the highest price. Greater love had no man than this than a man laid down his life than a man laid down his life by shedding his blood lay down his life hallelujah hallelujah i wrote a book years ago it never got to be published the title of the book is not guilty it was a revelation i hope that when god permits us to start writing books and publishing it i believe that that's one of the books that will set people free not guilty everybody say not guilty I want you to look at all the things you have done right and say because of the blood i am not guilty look at all the things that you have done wrong and say because of the blood i am not guilty yes i stole money but because i believe this report i am not guilty yes i served idols it's true that i went to the shrine but because of the speaking blood i am not guilty atonement remission liberty hallelujah hallelujah last prayer point in one minute i'd like you to pray radically mention all the things you need the blood to speak over tonight lift your voice and begin to pray please take it seriously lord let the blood speak there is a chain over my life let the blood speak tonight this terminal disease this barrenness this mental backwardness the speaking blood we invoke the power of the speaking blood hey. Hey. over my marital life access to wealth and prosperity over my spiritual life i invoke the power of the speaking blood of the speaking blood hallelujah hallelujah let's have all the heads of departments Please, quickly, quickly, let's save time. Mighty things will happen in this place. Listen. Listen. We're going to start from outside. I know that. I know that. 
many of us have taken communion in our churches some we do it every week and you just think it's a formula to satisfy hunger tonight you will know that there is a power you watch what happens in this place as we begin to take the communion because i'm about to pray without the holy spirit this is zobo and wafers but the power of the highest shall overshadow it hallelujah i'll serve the heads of departments you take it quickly i tell you see some of you as you take this communion things will begin to happen not just miracles you will know that something is happening to you listen the bible says i will show signs in the heavens and signs in the earth he said blood fire and smoke father in the name of the lord jesus christ let the power of the highest overshadow this you left two sacraments with the church the first is the doctrine of baptisms buried with christ and risen with him the second is the communion the mystery of our union partakers of his suffering that have qualified in the sufferings of christ and now to walk in the glory that follows holy spirit rest upon this in the name of jesus let this communion be empowered it ceases to just be mortal liquid let this contain the power of god i give this communion a voice in the spirit that the moment it is taken let it begin to speak over altars let it speak over the works of darkness let the fire of the holy ghost come upon this communion in the name of jesus christ worship team are you ready you minister to us powerfully everyone just begin to pray in tongues they will direct you i will serve the heads of department quickly and then they'll coordinate it you start coming from outside non-stop until we are done please be praying in tongues the moment you take it hallelujah listen it's going to be in this order you pick the bread just one piece you take the cup and then you put the cup here and just go back i'm sure that we're going to need some more cups so please make sure we coordinate ourselves well hallelujah shake up thank you jesus in that same night when he took of the bread he said this is my body just take a piece lord we do this with reverence go ahead take it take it and then pick the cup, just pick one. All right, very quickly outside, start rushing to come. The power of God is so strong here. Just be praying as you're coming. Quickly, quickly, please. Just pick one, take the drink, and move. Welfare, please walk with us. Let's let's have replenishing very quickly. The speaking blood. 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 As you go back to your seat, begin to pray and prophesy. Please keep coming outside. Hurry up, hurry up. Shut 
Thank you, Jesus. Yokes are breaking. The blood is speaking. 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 Please, those taking it, save time. Save time. Do it very fast. Sick bodies are getting healed. The Lord is healing people. The blood is speaking healing. Say Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Call the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Save time, those outside. Oh, 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 oh,
of God you are taking in the very life of God the mystery of communion
to break every chain break every chain break every chain to break every chain 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 Let's go. 
prophesy to you. Change. 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 with me very quickly to the book of Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 10. Verse 27. My God, the power of the Holy Ghost is strong in this place. Let hope rise. Darkness trembles in your Worshippers, go and take your own quickly. Isaiah 10, 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Which day? Which day? Which day? That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. And his yoke from off your neck. He said, and the yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. I didn't just choose to do this. Trust me. It is hard work to lay hands on everybody in this place. Hallelujah. There are three things that you will receive as I lay hands on you. It's important you know. Number one. Many of you are going to receive fresh unction. Fresh unction. You will know that there is an upgrade in your spiritual life. The second thing that you are going to receive is a breakthrough anointing upon your life. Breakthrough, breakthrough. The Bible says that you shall receive, it, the yoke shall be taken because of the anointing. We need, not only will you receive breakthroughs, hallelujah. And the third thing is that as I lay hands on you, those who are sick, let her try and take it. Please, she must take it. It's the power of the Holy Spirit. No matter what it is, if she can't stand, just take her somewhere. Please, just if, if they are done, just move the tables. Hallelujah. You will be healed, the third thing. These three things will come upon you. Please, someone, can you just get a rack or the tissue? Just clean this quickly, please. Again, we are going to start from outside. It's going to be a quick match. As you march, just lay your hands and say, Lord, as these hands come upon me, many of you are so used to laying on of hands. You, you experience it every day and every time. When Benny Hinn was laying hands on the people, Ora Roberts looked at him and said, Benny, don't just lay hands on them. Give them something. Give them something. Hallelujah. The laying on of hands is even a doctrine in the spirit. Hallelujah. Father, let your power come upon this oil. Let there be breakthroughs. 
Worshippers, I need you to be in the spirit and I need you to give a sacrifice of worship. Let it not stop at all the instruments. I tell you, there is a heavy anointing on me right now. Ushers, we will need you so that those who fall, um, we can coordinate them. Pray for one minute. Say, Lord, let something come upon my life. Especially those who are coming from outside Zaria. I give the chance. I give the chance. I give the chance. Lord, may your power come upon my hands. May they become the hands of the Christ. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please come quickly. I give the chance for Take the fire
the rows together. Just hold the mic for me.
your hands everybody and let us worship you. Emmanuel 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 
your name is glory. You're mighty well. Your name is glory. You're mighty well. You're mighty well. Join the voices. Call his name. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Your name is God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. His name is God. Emmanuel. His name is called. Listen. The Bible says, listen. It says with God, all things are possible. With God, all things. What is not possible with God. Involve God. And it becomes possible. That sickness will never go. But with God. That sickness suddenly leaves. That situation will never change. But with God. That's why we are singing that song Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Hiya. Emmanuel. Emmanuel Emmanuel His name is called Your name is called Emmanuel Hallelujah before I minister, I begin ministering. Hallelujah. There are two people that God is going to visit in a very strong way. Hallelujah. Both of them are outside. Hallelujah. The power of God will come mightily upon them. I don't know what it is that God wants to do. Those outside, just lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. I see the angels of the Lord walking outside. Two people. The power of God is coming mightily right now as I speak upon them. Please let me have them inside. Two people, mightily. It's a strong spirit of prophecy in this place. Two people, very mightily. By the power of the Holy Ghost. His name is called Emmanuel. His name is called Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Those of you in this row, just lift your hands. I don't know what it is that I see the angels of the Lord doing here. I see the angels of the Lord moving. At the count of three, there will be such a move of the Spirit in this room. Let me have the people outside. Thank you, Jesus. One, two, three. Let the power of God move right now. Right now. Ena na ne na si kanya, shaba ne na se na diani. Is the fire of the Holy Ghost? 
Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel. Name is called. Bring her. No devil will stop her. Your name is called. Your name is called. Emmanuel. Your name is called. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Emmanuel, 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 his name is called Emmanuel, your name is called One more time. Your name is God. Stop, Pastor. Emmanuel. Lord, your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel. Your name is God. Emmanuel, his name is called Emmanuel, your name is called Emmanuel, his name is called. His name is God, Emmanuel, He is called, Emmanuel, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the presence of God, no demon, no devil, no altar. I don't care what altar of darkness. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My altar is calling you. Oh God. My secret place is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. My worship is calling you, oh God. Take my praise. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I see the angels of the Lord moving now. 
Lift your hands. We're about to cause devils and wicked spirits. Please follow me, instrumentalist. We are going to cause every power. The Bible says every tree that has not been planted by my father, that tree must give way. And I come under an apostolic anointing in the name of the one whose I am and whom I serve. That at the count of three, any power that is not of God inside and outside, at the count of three, we challenge those devils by the fire of the Holy Ghost. As you shout three, the power of God will rush inside and outside and there will be massive deliverances right now. Are you ready now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. I cause powers, every wicked power, every demon, every activity of darkness. I cause you now. Now, 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 every act of witchcraft, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, you come under the judgment of God, inside and outside, right now, let the power of God bring deliverance, for upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, there shall be holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession hallelujah those outside just those outside goodness I see a number of angels you're going to shout Jesus after the count of three outside means everywhere that is not in and there will be massive deliverance Thank you, Jesus. Are you ready now, those outside? I see the power of God like files of fire. One, two, at the count of three. Shout, Jesus. Three. We dethrone altars. We dethrone yokes of darkness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Those outside be sensitive. There is so much power. I don't know what it is, but the the power of God is so strong outside. In the name of our God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Name of our God. Bring the lady. Most high. Most high. You're the Lord most high. Leave this girl in peace now. Go now. Let her go. Don't waste our time. Let her go now. I set you free now out of her now that devil of darkness blessed is he who comes in the name of God hallelujah please help her ladies it's not easy I know just find it's time for her deliverance. Bring her. Come. Don't force her. She will come. 
Now, quickly. I call you Lord Most High. Don't touch her. She will come by herself. Let her go now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Out of her now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let her go now. Thank you Jesus. I bring you liberty. Be free now. In Jesus name. She's free. name of Jesus it's over let her go now the blood of Jesus the name of Jesus Christ thank you you died for her let her go I come with the rod of a higher priesthood let her go in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ thank you father I give you all the praise she's delivered completely in the name of Jesus Christ thank you I anoint you guys. Let the anointing of the Spirit flow through you as you minister to them. In the name of Jesus. She will go. Come, lay hands on this lady. Out of her now, thou devil of darkness. I cost you. I see you in the Spirit. Out! Out! Let her go free. Her time of deliverance is now. I speak to you, wicked spirit. Let her go now. Jesus died. Listen, let me tell you. There is no power. Listen. There is no power that will resist the power of God tonight. The Bible says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers. Have you read that in your Bible? Let every soul be subject. When it sees powers that are higher than it, it should be subject. Let every soul. Hallelujah. Esther. 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 There is an Esther that is not feeling fine. You are sick. Not just, I know there are many Esthers. The Lord is ministering to me. I don't know what is wrong with that Esther, but you need a miracle, a healing miracle. Esther. Please let's save time. There is a lot we have to do tonight. Esther. Who is Deborah? Deborah. Deborah, you are outside. That Deborah is wearing red. You are wearing red. Red with black spots. It's a shirt, red with black spots. Deborah, come. Your name is Deborah. I'm hearing the name Queen. Queen is, I think that's supposed to be a name. Queen. Who is Queen? Queen. Queen. You are Esther. Come, come and see. While you hold them, look, guys speak to them and let them you will waste your time with demon spirits have a way of wasting people's time don't you will save yourself a lot of energy it makes no difference who is speaking queen who is queen? you are queen i need to pray for you you have a blood condition victoria victoria 
Victoria, 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 Victoria. I'm hearing the name Gabriel. Gabriel, who is Gabriel? Gabriel, please just save time when I mention your case. Gabriel. Gabriel is outside. Outside. The Lord is ministering to me. Outside. Gabriel, you are. Is it outside? Yes. Gabriel is outside. You are Gabriel. You are outside. Hallelujah. Come, my dear. What is wrong with you? I need to pray for you. Because the Lord is ministering to me. I saw this lady. And I saw something that looks like a lizard. And is sucking her blood physically. Look, come, come up. Look at this girl. Look at her. You will know that this girl doesn't look healthy. You don't even know what. And the Lord just opened my eyes and I saw something like a lizard. Just leased to her heart region. And it's just sucking her blood. This is how somebody just gets up and just dies. What happens to you? Your chest region that devil is a liar. You'll be free. Hallelujah. There's no time to minister to your individual needs. Are you following me now? If God gives me a word for you, I'll just pray. Otherwise, ah, okay. come, 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 come. You must be set free now. Hold my hands. Out! Come out of her now! Out! Now! Blessed is he who comes. I set you free from this captivity. Be free now. Praise the Lord. I'm going to pray for you. Who is having serious abdominal pain? You're having pain, just your stomach region here, very seriously. One of you here, because I'm feeling that same pain, so I know. You? Let me pray for you. But, but that's, that's not really the major thing wrong with you. What's wrong with you? now thank you Jesus I bring you the power that is in the name of Jesus lay your hands on your stomach be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ father I pray for all of these people as I lay hands on you it doesn't matter what the situation is in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free in the name of Jesus Christ walk into the blessings and the promises of God in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be set free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Be set free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Um, the Lord is showing me about three people. There's a severe skin infection that is, you have done all you, it's a very serious thing. In fact, it's even embarrassing. It's even embarrassing. There are three people. This is one. There's, there's, there's two more. Please, quickly. It's a serious thing. You have, you have prayed about it. You have used drugs. Nothing has gone. Please. I'm seeing three people. It's time for God to set you free. Don't worry. If there are still more people, you can connect. I'm just telling you the one that God is showing me. I don't care what it is. We sang that God will set you free. Please, don't come out here to try God. It will leave. I don't care what it is. hallelujah thank you jesus please those with peptic ulcers just get ready all kinds of ulcers we're going to pray for you now please make sure it's, it's only skin infection only skin infection hold my hands madam i set you free in the name of jesus be free now be free now in the name of jesus 
be free now in the name of Jesus as I pray for you just go back to your seat oh, the power of God is strong on my hands be free now in the name of Jesus I cause that spirit be free now in the name of Jesus let him go I set you free be free now by the power of the Holy Spirit I cause skin infection in the name that is above all names hold my hands look at me look at me seeing you tied not only are you i pray that god will visit you in the name of jesus christ lord let her go free in the name of jesus let her go free right now in the name of jesus you're suffering from any kind of ulcer any kind of ulcer we're just flowing as the holy ghost is, is ministering right now there is a lot to be done so Please, ulcers, ulcers, God is ministering to me. Visit your people, oh God. These are the ones that you died for. Look how many people are inflicted by ulcers. I'll pray for you very quickly. Please, I want you to believe as I lay my hands on, on you. The power of God will come upon you and you'll be free. Just begin to breathe in. Some of you will feel because the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing it. You will feel something leave you. Just come out of you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free now. Out. Come out of her. Now, in the name of Jesus, out, out of her. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Be free right now. Out, out. Please, as I pray for you, check yourself. He's able. Out. Come out. I will pray for you and I will talk to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. I set you free by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ, I set you free. Be free now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be free in the name of Jesus Christ. He's able. Bring the lady shout in there. Hey, hey, hey. Say he's able. Let her go in the name of Jesus. I set you free by the power of the highest. Say God. he's able. God is able. God. Command that spirit of infirmity. Leave her right now. Never to return. Be free now. In Jesus' name. Complete freedom.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The Lord is showing me someone. You came here. I'm seeing someone in your family lying down on the bed. It's like a terminal disease. That's one of the major reasons why you came here. The Lord is showing me is a woman. I think your mother. Someone's mother lying down on the bed. Who is that person? I'm seeing someone on the bed and it's a very serious situation. Please, who is that? Let's save time. We have to really, really be fast. There's a lot to do. Who is that person? Please, if you are the one, just find your way quickly so I can pray with you. Who went to Shika and came back? Shika and came back. Because this person I'm seeing, they took the person to Shika and brought the person back. You? My mother has one being in Shika. She went to Shika. What are you people coming out for? Why is the man insisting that is the one? What is it? You came from Shika. You are coming from Shika. What's wrong with you? This one is a woman who is not you, but anyway, what's the situation? But it's a, no, no, no. What, what, just straight to the point, what happened? My body is very hot and the, the head is turning me like move, I want to fall. This is the spirit of death now. You would have died before today. Hold my hands. I want to pray with you. You'll be free now. Thank you, Jesus. I set you free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. What couldn't you do before? Ogasa, what couldn't you do before? What couldn't you do before? What, what is it that you could not do before? Okay, come, climb. Let's see if you feel weak again. I'll pray for you. Just, just walk. Let me see. Try to jump. Any weakness? Don't worry now. If you want to jump, you'll fall. Shabia, I prayed for you. Fall and die here. Jump. <laughs> Any weakness? Any weakness in your body? Try it again. Try it again. Look at This is somebody that came. He said he went to Shika. Huh? Are you sure? Don't pretend though. Are you feeling fine? You are completely fine. You are here because I saw the spirit of death. Your own is not just sickness. Lord, it is perfected in the name of Jesus. Please take on your shoes. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me somebody with a condition. Is this my left or right leg? This is left. My left leg. I don't know if it's a, if it's a bone condition or a pain that you have in there. Please, who is that person? The Lord wants to heal you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. You're the one? Oh, you can see it. You can even see it. What's the problem? I actually play football. Right You're a footballer. I had a fracture for eight months now. You have a fracture now on the leg. There is a fracture. Is it true? Please make sure you tell us the truth when you come here. Look at me. Watch yourself get healed now. Come. Don't close your eyes. Open your eyes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Aya. The Holy Spirit. Young Gicho wrote a book. He said, The Holy Spirit, my senior partner. Watch what happens to this guy now. My brother. Look at me. You are an adult, so you will not tell lies. Right? Watch. I don't want you to miss your miracle. Where is the fracture? Exactly. Alright, watch what happens to you now. Lay your own hands there. The hands you'll be using every day. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ. You sense what is happening to you right now. Are you seeing this? Look at what is happening to him. You see the power of God? You see the power of God on him? He's laying hands on himself and he cannot even stand again. That's the end of it. Stand up. Stand up. Jump. Do what you couldn't do. Just do it. Test yourself. Look at this. Look at. See the guy is even rejoicing. <laughs> this is somebody with a fracture. Fracture on his leg. Come on. Give Jesus praise for Anonia. See. There's no, there's no pain. Try doing like this. Do like this. That's how you know whether there was pain or not. Look at, look at, look at what you're doing. Come on, give Jesus praise. Hallelujah. God bless you. Never return. God 
neck. Come, 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 don't worry. What's the situation? Pain. Pain there. Let me see. Just, just the, no, 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 you don't need to lift your hand. Just that point. The joint there. How long? Since two weeks now. Two weeks. What happened? Just like that. You woke up and the pain refused to go. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Which one do you want? You want to lay hands on yourself or should you just pray? <laughs> huh? All right, but seriously, let's pray. Hold my hands. Heal her, Lord. Set her free right now. The power of God is coming upon you, that leg. In the name of Jesus Christ. No pain. See, that's the power of God coming upon your leg. Check yourself. Check. Honestly. Check yourself. Look at the power of God is moving strongly. Check. Check. Do you feel any pain? You feel any? No pain is. She's even surprised. No pain is. Give Jesus praise. That devil has gone never to return again. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Goodness. The Lord just showed me a mighty miracle that has happened now. Someone you have a hole, you used to have a hole in your teeth. Check it now. You will not see that hole there. Please check it and come out. This is a miracle that has just happened now. Please, I'm going to start praying in mass for people. But you will be very surprised. When, when that happens to you, just come out quickly. The Lord, show, once God shows me something, he has done it. Please check yourself. Check yourself. We are not faking this thing here. Make sure you check yourself. You will be very surprised to find out that there used to be a hole and that hole is closed hallelujah let me pray for you your mother your mother let me pray for you father in the name of jesus let there be healing for your mother wherever she is let there be healing for your mother in the name of jesus why did you come out for your mother hold my hands father for mommy we pray let there be healing and perfection in the name of the lord jesus christ Please make sure you only come out for the cases I call. Why is he out? Eh? Okay, let me pray for you. Father, for the mother, we agree right now. Let there be freedom in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at the miracle. Your teeth is closed now. Come, come. Please, we need a witness. We need a witness. Is it true? Don't tell lies here. You are in the presence of God. Where is it? sorry can you open your mouth for me to see i'm sorry i'm sorry i hope that's not let me see you used to have a hole please come whether come and check no let's have any independent person so that you don't say we are acting this thing now come come and check check if there is any hole are you are you seeing that there's no it was really paining me when i it was paining you when you came here. The hole has been there. Who knows about it? Only your sister knows about it. And, it's, and you've been healed. Any pain now? Thank you, Jesus. We give you all the praise. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please stand up, everybody. I want to pray for eye conditions now. Let's just flow the way God is. This is nice. Please, if you have any problem with your eye, just lay your hands. There will be healing miracles right now. There will be healing miracles right now with the eyes. Immediately, I pray for you. Some of you, the power of God will touch your eyes. Just check yourself. And when you find out that there is a miracle, I want to take a few testimonies there. Please lift, your, lift one hand and place one hand on your eyes. Jesus will give you the praise. Hallelujah right now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke every kind of eye problem in the name of jesus i cause cataract in the name of jesus glaucoma i cost you now in the name of jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness be healed right now in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost i command to be healed and every spirit of blindness every spirit of infirmity every kind of blindness whether in one eye whether in both eyes i rebuke you right now i command be healed in the name of jesus be healed in the name of jesus now check yourself
please check yourself check yourself god is doing great miracles check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while they are doing that the lord is showing me people with heart conditions heart conditions you have a heart condition whether a hole in your heart or any kind of heart condition please can i have those people heart condition you've been diagnosed medically to have a heart condition you have a heart problem who and is preparing to go to india is preparing to go to india for surgery what of you yes sir what of you 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 have a heart problem since when did you know about it february the doctors told you what did they say is wrong palpitation oh. doctor doctor where's that doctor in ushers you are the one self oh yeah Augusta, what does that mean doctor tell us huh say she has palpitations abnormal beating of the heart ah okay loud and you can hear it even when she so it's a, don't use stethoscope you can hear it so it's a serious situation she'll be healed now you're a doctor now wait you'll go to hospital tomorrow but for now my dear do you believe jesus will heal you completely lay one hand on your chest lord let her be healed right now the power of god is flowing through you just breathe in and out thank you jesus christ be healed right now by the power of the holy ghost be set free please check yourself lord have mercy on the father in the name of Jesus. How do you know now? Try it. Breathe in and out. Let's see. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let there be perfection. In the name of Jesus. Let there be perfection. The devil wants to bring stroke. As I just held you. Huh? Is that true? You're already feeling half of you. Some. Okay, you're that too of stroke. Because immediately I, had, I held your hand. I just saw stroke. Father, we rebuke that stroke. In the name of Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, be healed right now. We are going to rebuke delay in marriage now. Rise up on your feet. The devil is a liar. Please rise up on your feet. Some of you are smiling. That means it doesn't concern you because those who it really concerns is a serious issue. Praise God. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to pray for you. Please follow me, guys. Hallelujah. Most marital delays are demonic in nature. And we're going to arrest it right now. You can stand in for yourself. You can stand in for your loved ones. Please lift your hands, everybody. You'll be amazed at what will happen right now. Everyone, please lift your hands. You can stand for yourself. You can connect. Hallelujah. At the count of three, I want you to shout that name, Jesus. Father, I pray that as they shout that name, every, every demonic force that has held anyone's marital destiny, goodness, I sense the power of God, in the name that is above all names, Father, I pray, that as your people shout that name i tell you many of you the power of god will rush like fire on you in the name of jesus every wicked manifestation of spirit husband or wife any spirit entity that cleaves itself to anybody as you shout that name by the power of the holy ghost their activities end now one two Three. I cast those spirits in the name of Jesus. Let God's people go in the name of Jesus. Out of them now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, inside and outside, I command those powers to let you go now. Release the 
their marital destinies now release their marital destinies now every cause that stops marriage in families in the name of the Lord Jesus I arrest it I arrest it by the power of the Holy Ghost shake Rekete Prokotoba Man Bros Kete Legosi Was he going to shout that name over this case? The Lord is not done yet. Lift your hands again. I want you to shout it at the top of your voice. And as you shout that name, the fire of the Holy Ghost will hit you like a tornado. God is visiting situations right now. Thank you, Jesus. One. Two. Get ready now. Get ready with your hands lifted. Three. Be released now. Be released now. Be released now. I command chains. Chains. Marital chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command chains be broken in the name of Jesus be broken in the name of Jesus be broken let marital doors open in the name of Jesus I prophesy over your marital destiny in the name that is above all names the Bible says, seek out of the book and read. It said, none of this shall fail. None shall want her mate. Ladies, wherever your husband is, in the name that is above all names, I call him into your life. I call him into your life. Listen. Not a man, your husband. Not a man, your husband. May he come into your life in the name of Jesus and I prophesy over our brothers in the name that is above all names that sister that God has destined for you we release her into your life now 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 hallelujah Now I'm going to pray for all sick people, especially those who have come from everywhere. While you come out, do you have your prayer request? Please. If you don't have it, it's time to begin to write it now. For all those who are sick, you are sick in your body. You came specifically for healing. It's your time now. Please come out. Please come out. Come out. Just come and stand here. Everyone sick. Everyone sick, inside and outside. Just find your way and line up here. Ushers, just arrange them quickly. Stand here believing that God will set you free. He that comes unto God must come believing. I want you to expect the power of God to come mightily upon your life. Whatever the situation is, I'm going to lay hands on every one of you. And as I lay that hands upon you, hallelujah, I want you to expect the power of God to flow into your life. Whatever the situation is, hallelujah. Worship team, lead us in a powerful moment of worship. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you for healing in the name of Jesus. Those of you who are sitting, please write your prayer requests. Once you are done, just begin to pray in tongues and then we'll do this very quickly. My God is awesome. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heal now. Heal now. In the name of 
Jesus Christ. Hide me from the rain. I cause everything that is not of God. My God. Out. My God is awesome. Heal now. When I'm broken. Strange My Out. God is he, awesome. he can move in the name of Jesus. Strength for you. I cause sickness. He is awesome. I want you to believe that God is setting you free. He is awesome. My God. Heal. In the name of Jesus. He is awesome. Oh, God. He heal now. Shake it, baba, baba, baba. He healed mommy in the name of Jesus.
Is there anything too hard for me to In the name do? of Jesus Christ, be healed right now. I am that I am. Can you be healed in the name of Jesus Christ? In the name of Jesus Christ, I am that I am. I am that I am. Is she now? That's it. In the name of Jesus. Please stand up. Please, I want you to believe. I want you to believe. Hallelujah. I want you to believe as I pray for you. I'm just flowing as the Holy Spirit leads me. There are people who came here tonight and your, true, your sincere desire is that God will visit you. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands.
promotion neither comes from the east nor the west in the name that is above all names I pray may the Lord give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus I speak it and I prophesy it may my God give you a miracle job in the name of Jesus as you are lifting up that hands let an anointing come upon that hand keep it lifted please that hand that is lifted I pray let an anointing come upon it the oil of gladness that sets you above your equals receive it in the name of Jesus everywhere you have submitted your CV I pray may my God cause them to visit you in the name of Jesus and every power that is stopping your job in the name that is above all names the four horns that lift up themselves against Judah against Jerusalem against Israel I command right now let those doors of jobs be opened supernaturally in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please everybody stand submit your prayer request do we have it this is a very prophetic moment we have a few minutes but this is where everybody gets to receive please I want you to be very very sensitive if you've not submitted your prayer request please just do that quickly this this just dedicate yourself to these few moments because they are very very prophetic what we're about to do any more people please quickly we have a God that answers prayers here hallelujah this is the second time God is giving me this instruction usually we just pray on it and once we are done here but this is the second time the Lord is telling me that I should take this request with me and I should pray over them through the night there is a God that answers prayers and Hezekiah took the threat letter to God before the altar he said Lord behold their threatenings hallelujah praise the Lord now we're going to pray hallelujah these requests represent impossible situations for some hallelujah situations that only the power of God can change there are some situations here if we have to read it even we the men of God will be discouraged because of the kind of request that's why we don't bother reading it we just drop it to the one who created the heavens and the earth I want you to know that within these few minutes I want you to pray from the depths of your heart and those following us online now is the time for them to connect hallelujah because as we pray over these requests the power of God will turn these requests into testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus we're going to pray Pastor Alpha come Femi come Benga come just pray lay hands on this and prophesy stretch your hands everybody towards this request and begin to pray begin to pray and prophesy hallelujah everybody stretch your hands and begin to declare and say lord whatever i wrote here is turned into a testimony 
Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, change this situation. Change this situation. In the name of Jesus, we turn this to testimony. Jesus Lord under this corporate anointing we release answers to this request we release answers to this request let them receive emergency attention of heaven now in the name of Jesus we release answers now in the name of Jesus thank you because we got nothing shall be impossible and thank you for the release of the harvest of the seed in Jesus name we pray hallelujah please everybody stand those who are visiting with us all those who are who came from outside Zaria please come out I'll minister to you now I want you to come out expecting the Lord there are so many people who have come from different places please just come out I'll pray for them and I'm going to pray for everyone for a release of fresh fire and fresh unction hallelujah it's not enough to come and watch miracles hallelujah but you are going to pray that you carry this anointing hallelujah and you represent the kingdom thank you so much for those who came lizzie and her friends thank you so much all the way from abuja thank you pastor alpha all the way from kogi state eddie from joss Lunging from Abuja, I see a number of people. Hallelujah. Please, I want you to believe. I don't know what you came here for, but I really want you to believe by the power of the Holy Ghost. I want you to believe. I'm going to minister to you. Two things will happen to you. Whatever situation you came here trusting God for, I'm going to release my faith with you. And secondly, that you will carry an anointing. I tell you, something will come heavy upon your life. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing. You will carry an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Just clash the cymbals. Please play strings. Strings, strings, strings. In the name of Jesus. Shababa Anoint them in the name of Jesus. Be blessed. Take an anointing back. Be blessed in the name of Jesus. Be healed, be blessed. Take this anointing back. Take this anointing in the name of Jesus. Awesome is your name. Walk in greater levels of power. Greater levels of power. In the name of Jesus, you do glorious things. Your faith take an anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. Break through every closed door. I open it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. You do glorious things. Your take this anointing with you. In the name of Jesus, awesome to your locality, do mighty things for the King. I release your marital destiny. This is what the Lord is ministering. I release your marital destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Take 
this anointing. Oh, what a in the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. In the name of Jesus, I open every closed door. Let the fragrance of the Spirit be upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command breakthrough. I hear my spirit breakthrough. I release breakthrough. Breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I command breakthrough in the name of Jesus. I command breakthrough. 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 Financial breakthrough. God is bringing you financial breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let the world grow in the name of Jesus. Let the world grow. Let an anointing door that I see in the name of Jesus I open this closed door that I see by the power of the Holy Ghost take this anointing that it makes you Supernatural breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost. I cause that spirit that limits you. I cause that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please, everybody, stand up. The time is against us. Please, everybody, rise. I want to do an impartation right now and then I'll just prophesy on our lives. Please lift your hands. Something will come upon your life. Hallelujah. This is where certain people will receive something. I want to impart the gifts of the Spirit. I already sense a strong atmosphere. Lift your hands in the name of the Lord Jesus. The healing anointing is going to come on many people now. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. The healing anointing inside and outside. Take it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Take it now. Take it now. Go and heal the sick. Go and heal the sick. You will lay hands on the sick and they will be healed. You will cast out devils. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it. I pray. I command the prophetic. Let it be activated now. Prophetic fountains be opened now. Visions dreams i command in the name of jesus receive it and unction you don't need to bring them out you don't need to bring them out we activate it take it now supernatural experiences 
dreams, visions. So potopate. I command leadership mantles. Leadership mantles. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Strong leadership mantles. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. Stop la cambre de gelaba. I'm about to pray the nine gifts of the spirit and many more listed in the Bible in the name of the Lord Jesus. At the count of three, different gifts will be activated in people right now. One, two, three, receive it. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, prophecy, tongues, interpretation of tongues. Take it now. I activate the full power of the spirit. I activate it inside and outside. Take it. Let the Holy Ghost come upon you in power. Receive it. Receive it. Gifts of healing. Word of knowledge. Gifts of prophecy. It will come like fire. It will come like fire. It will burn you. It will come like fire. It's the fire of the Holy Ghost. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Masheda Tani Adana. He Anatina Nana. 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 He Two of you hold your hands. Hold your hand. Take it now. He Anatina Nana. He Anatina Nana. He Take it now. Rapapa Shata. Kapatataba. Rapate, embrekete, reke kashopa, mambrateketa. I activate the gifts of the spirit. Every apostolic ministry in this place, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. Every apostolic ministry, take the fire. Every prophetic ministry, take the fire, take the fire, take the fire. hallelujah there are many of you who are kingdom financiers financial apostles everyone will be blessed but there are specific people lift your hands my god i pray that these people let an unction my god my god my god my god take it financial dominion by the power help them help them help them Shetete. take it ideas i activate it by the power of the holy ghost financial apostles arise arise take the kingdom Sekete, rekete, rekete, tete, maka prateke, empletos kepa, matos kopo rekete. Sekete, baka bada bada. Now I want to prophesy very quickly please i want you to shout amen every closed door over your life in the name that is above all names be open now be open now be open now every closed door be open now be open now be open now be open now be open now
I pray right now every opportunity you have lost I don't care what it is I prophesy right now receive restoration receive restoration by the power of the Holy Ghost receive restoration now receive restoration now hallelujah every family under captivity and hardship in the name that is above all names i command those families to be free now be free now free from hardship free from hardship the bible says to appoint unto them that morning zion i pray whatever made you cry this month in the name that is above all names i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i cause it to its root now i pray everyone who has the key to the next level of your life every destiny helper i don't care where they are right now in the name of jesus like prophet ezekiel i call them he said i prophesied as i was commanded destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise come forth destiny help us arise arise hallelujah wherever you have faced resistance in your life may this faithful anointing in the name that is above all names as i prophesy right now let that favor anointing hit you like a tornado go back to where they rejected you and watch my god make a way for you i command favor i command favor in the name of jesus whatever has been speaking against your life and your destiny let the blood speak for you now let the blood speak for you now any terminal disease here any terminal disease here we terminate it once and for all in the name of jesus every dying destiny every dying destiny like the bones in the book of ezekiel hear ye the word of the lord whatever you have that is dying whether it's your business whether it's your family whether it's your relationship whether it's your marriage i come with a prophetic voice hear ye the word of the lord come alive now come alive now come alive now come alive now I prophesy that by the next miracle service you will return with a change of garment that everyone that sees you will know that my God has visited you every ministry every fellowship every group every church every assembly represented here I pray let an unusual unction rest upon your ministry everything you see happening here go and reproduce it in the name of jesus i release upon you that power in the name that is above all names whatever has stopped your church from growing whatever has stopped your ministry from growing i command ministry grow church grow in the name of jesus hallelujah Lord, we give you the praise. I'm going to make an altar call right now. If you're here and you've never given your heart to the Lord Jesus, 
please listen this is a very serious moment we're out of time you've never made jesus lord of your life inside and outside you probably were invited you may have been a christian but you've never truly declared the lordship of christ i'm going to invite you to come here or you've been born again and you found yourself derailing this is the greatest miracle please everybody rise just one minute just to encourage those who are coming out please let's rise right now you belong to that category you are saying lord i return to you i don't care whether you've been born again before please i want you to leave your seat and come out right now leave your seat and come out right now you want to make a decision you are making a decision for the lord jesus for the first time please listen or you've given your heart to the lord but you found yourself backsliding don't wait for anybody you are the first person please appreciate them i believe there are people god bless you god bless you thank you thank you thank you they are coming koinonia celebrate them inside and outside thank you for the courage we salute your courage god bless you god bless you keep coming keep coming it's a new day it's a new season you are saying goodbye to yesterday and god gives you the gift of tomorrow to remedy for the mistakes of yesterday thank you jesus for these ones keep coming keep coming god bless you no matter how far keep coming don't be afraid don't be ashamed of anybody it's a personal affair tonight thank you jesus hallelujah i salute your courage for those of you who took out the time to come lift your right hands and from the depths of your heart you're not reciting a poem i want you to say after me lord jesus i love you and i believe in you i believe you died for me i believe you shed your blood to set me free i receive that freedom tonight and i receive eternal life into my spirit in the name of jesus from today i declare that i'm born again i'm a child of god holy spirit come and live in me i make up my mind to live for jesus all the days of my life forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ thank you so much for making that decision let me pray for you father preserve these ones you brought them out by your power preserve them in the name of the lord jesus may your christian experience be authentic in the name of the lord jesus thank you so much for making this decision where are they following okay you have a gentleman just lead you that gentleman waving his hands please just follow them they'll have your details and you'll be back to your seat celebrate jesus hallelujah please all those worshiping with us for the first time if this is your first time attending any of our meetings we love you we celebrate you please rise up on your feet and just come out here koinonia celebrate them all who have come from far and near this is your first time you are very very welcome celebrate them appreciate them thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming thank you for coming we celebrate you we honor you no matter how far come there is a blessing for you there is a prayer for you the lord brought you here to bless you thank you so much koinonia is this the best you can do lord jesus we thank you for bringing these ones hallelujah hallelujah thank you so much for coming all of you who took out the time to come we really celebrate you we appreciate you hallelujah this is koinonia ministry put together a program put together by eternity network international thank you so much for coming we are here every friday not this exact venue but every friday as god grants you the grace it will always be a blessing having you around praise the lord we have a blessing in the house hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes 
are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.